Hey guys, it's Bryce here with yet another Fusion 360 quick tip. In this week's quick tip, we will learn how to create a rendering of a motion study to show how the build plate of Autodesk Ember Printer functions. Once the joints are created, we will now create a motion study, which utilizes joints to move the assembly. We can select the joints we want to include in our motion study out of the graphics area or the joints folder. Multiple joints can be selected to simulate different types of kinematic motion in this assembly. In the motion study window, the steps are along the x-axis. Think of this as time. Then the y-axis will be either distance or rotation, depending on the type of joint I selected. If another joint is selected, another line will be presented to manipulate that motion in time the same way as the linear motion for the build plate assembly. Once the motion study is complete, there will be a new folder in the browser with the motion study. Several motion studies can be created to illustrate different types of motion based off of the joints in this assembly. Now my marketing team needs a video on how this 3D printer operates to show our customers. Let's go ahead and hop into the rendering workspace. To create a photorealistic video of this motion study, we will first need to produce a cloud rendering of the view we want the motion study to be created. Let's choose the resolution and send off this image to be rendered in the cloud. This cloud process is not using any of your computer's hardware, so feel free to do other work while this image is being processed. Once the image is complete, select the thumbnail of the image in the rendering gallery. In the top of this window, I get the choice of either creating a turntable animation or rendering a motion study. Once I hit the play button, I can change a few parameters such as the resolution or which motion study to render. Again, this will send this off to the cloud. In a few minutes, I'll be able to find the completed video in the rendering gallery over the previously selected image. Now that my video is complete, I can download the motion study rendering as an MP4. Well, that's the quick tip for today. Now go off and show how your moving assemblies work with high quality rendered videos.